guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Jojo Palacio, and on this channel, we talk about all things beauty. Today is no different. Today we are doing, guess what? A fall time glam bomb look. I am so excited for you guys to see this look just because it was not what I planned, but it absolutely was what I needed, you know? Got so good that way. So this look is absolutely fall vampy. Look at this wing. I give you a quick tip on how to get a nice wing without crying and struggling your whole way through. Um, I feel like it's really important to just make makeup fun and simple. And so this cute little hat that I share with you guys is absolutely a great way to slay with your wing this fall season and not have to stress about it. So I hope that you guys like it. Before we get started, I wanna encourage you guys to subscribe to my channel. Watching the video alone is not enough. I need you guys to help me out, get to a thousand subscribers, and there's a few things that you can do to help me do that. You can like the video and hit the thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that it's content that you're interested in, and it might be content that other people are interested in. You can also subscribe to my channel. By subscribing, you are notified of when I update and upload videos so you, that you can stay you know, connected with me, we can chit chat, we can get ready. There's tons of giveaways coming up on my channel because I am going to get to a thousand subscribers by 2021. And the way that we do that is through you guys. Thank you so much for the growth you've given me this year. I have grown quite a bit this year thanks to you. So I just wanted to shout you out. Thank you, girl. And um, let's get into this tutorial, guys. I hope that you like it. Look at it, look at it. Let's do it. All right, guys, so we are starting with eyes. Obviously, we're gonna prep with our P. Louise Eye Base. I use it in the shade 0.5 Rumor. And after we do that, we are going to set that base so that we can get a nice, smooth surface to work with. I'm gonna use my um, Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Powder today. I use it in the shade number two, the medium, and I'm just gonna push that into the base making sure that everything is just, boom, set to go. Once you've got that down, we're gonna move right into the lid shade. This shadow, I did not intend this look to come out like this, however, it's perfect for fall, which is the type of look that I was going for, so let's do it. I have a new face, I have a new face uh, palette that I'm gonna use. It is by Pretty Vulgar. It's called Nesting Bitch Face really cool oh wait it doesn't say the it it's sorry guys i like i was thinking it so i said it but it's nesting you know what face so i'm gonna take this shade son of a bee right here and i'm gonna put that as a crease shadow and i'm gonna pick that up using this guy which is the t50 by the makeup shop and we're just gonna put this all over this crease area and I want it pretty blown up. So again, the lighter the shadow, the bigger the brush, the bigger the area we're trying to cover. So that's why I have this nice fluffy blending brush. There's a lot of fallout in this palette. So I would just be careful. They're not super dark colors that we're playing with today. However, I always just like to start with the eyes first, especially when I know that I'm gonna be playing with liner or dark colors just because you never ever know. So once we build it up pretty much to there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Rustic, which is in my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. I am loving this palette for fall and she actually just came out with a Soft Glam 2, which is like a smaller version. Um, pretty interesting. She kept a lot of the uh, very core shadows and then moved added a different twist to the palette. That was really pretty. It's like tiny, which is super cute. So I'm gonna take this shade and literally run it everywhere we just ran the other one. There is like no specific placement. We're just gonna go right over it. This is just gonna deepen it up a little bit so that we have some dimension in the crease. So once we've got that on, I'm actually gonna pick up the same shadow rustic with the smaller brush because I want to define a little further and this is the M433. And I'm going to just take that right in the crease area below what we were just laying down because I want to define, I want it to be super 
define in this outer corner and the crease area. We're not going to spend too much time here because we're going to blend out quite a bit of this with the actual lid shade and it will all get married together. So once we blended that down some, I'm actually going to switch over to a different brush, similar shape, but just a different brush. It's the JH33 and it's the shade Mulberry. So I'm going to pick that up and this Mulberry shade looks almost burgundy in the palette but it comes off a brown mixed with everything and on my eyes which at first i did not like but then once i saw the look together i was not mad at like it's just a nice warm look perfect fall warm browns shades like i'm, I'm about it so i'm just gonna take a nice clean blending brush and I'm just gonna blend all the edges out. Do you guys notice my scars here? All right, so we are pretty much at the point where we're gonna do our wing, and I'm gonna show you guys a cute little trick, little hack. So I'm gonna use my Stila waterproof liner for this wing, it's the micro tip. I love the Stila liners, whether it's the regular tip or the micro tip, I'm obsessed. And I'm actually gonna pull out this guy to help me trace out the wing, which is what I did for here and how I got it so sharp and up. I have an issue where like one wing will end up really nice and up and the other one ends up like almost lazy a little bit. And I've just learned to work around it by doing this cute little trick. But I will say excuse me because I've got to get the mirror in the frame for us and I'll turn this way. So excuse this little section here. So I'm going to start off by standing back and I want to make sure that there's enough space to connect everything towards the bottom lash line. That's really important when you're doing a dark look like this. You want to be able to tie the look together at the end of the day. And to do that, you want to leave yourself space from the lower lash line so that you can connect everything. So I'm going to keep it about right here and then I want to step back and just make sure that both wings are going up in the same direction. And then I'm just going to trace this right here. So that is how I kind of get the starting point, the line to where I want it. And then I will go from there and shape everything and pull everything in. So I start with that part of my wing to get a wing done. And then what I do is I start by taking the inner corner and bringing that in. This micro tip, by the way, is genius. I don't know how many of you are overwhelmed by a huge like felt tip, but this is amazing. So I'm going to trace this line first right here. Make sure everything is filled in. There's no skin, no fleshy points. And then once I've got that line in, I'm going to pull the rest of it in and I'm going to start thickening things up. All right, guys, so to get the black looking super black on the top lid, I'm gonna tight line with my Urban Decay pencil in Perversion. All right, guys, so we are moving on to complexion. This is pretty much it for the eyes. Like, how simple is this look? I love the fact that it can be super simple and still be glam at the same time. Like, that is everything to me. So let's move on to complexion. And for complexion, I am so excited because we are trying out a new foundation. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Foundation, which is my favorite concealer, but now they came out with the foundation. So let's get it done. I am so excited for this because as you guys know, I have been using that concealer for a while. And now that we actually have a foundation, I am excited because your girl is combination skin, large pores. Those two things are very important for you to know so you understand why I'm excited. So we're gonna prep the skin with these guys right here. This is a Dr. Brandt Pores No More as well as the Milk Makeup um, Hydro Grip Primer. I love that Hydro Grip Primer. It is so good. Boom. Try that technique and let me know what you guys think. Comment down below and tell me if you liked trying that out, how you feel about it, you're not feeling it. I mean, it's okay. But I want to know. I want to know what you think. So I'm going to go into this foundation. I got it in the shade Santa Fe. If uh, you have not seen my most recent Sephora haul, I need you to go check that out because it is so nice. There was a ton of complexion stuff on there, including this foundation. So, all right. So I don't know how much I'm going to need. This is definitely more liquid 
than the actual Oh, mm -hmm. wow. Okay, so you don't need a lot. Definitely grab too much. Wow. Hello. Coverage. This might actually give my Smashbox foundation a run for its money. Do you guys see this? That is flawless. I was going to say it was liquidy, but like it's definitely a cream. It's definitely blurring and smoothing. The coverage is absolutely there. It is the perfect description of a soft matte foundation. Like that. Ooh, that's nice. I use the Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick and Medium Tan to bronze up. And then I will contour up with the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer and Beautiful Bronze. So... I'm going to take this, we're going to apply it on the forehead. Yeah, this is definitely going to warm me up nicely versus looking pasty. I actually went in with that self-tanner today and I love being tan. It's just so flattering. I think especially with lighter hair, like I just love being tan. I'm pushing this in with the BH Cosmetics Marbled Collection Angled Brush. This is the number one. I always want to say seven, but it's the number one. I love BH Cosmetic brushes. If you guys are ever looking to invest in a nice um, brush that's inexpensive but still good quality, definitely look into BH Cosmetics. Obviously, you're all aware of Morphe, but BH Cosmetics, don't sleep on that. So good. Apply some of this LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze. This is definitely a deeper, darker color. I am obsessed with this. It's so inexpensive. I love the color on it. I love the way that it blends out. I love using concealers and foundations to like play with the highlight and the contour. One of my favorite palettes to use on clients recently is a Graftopian um like face contour palette it's like a bunch of foundations that you can use as concealers as well and i use it to contour and that has been so beautiful to photograph lately i have to do a um review on that if you guys want to see that let me know comment down below if you're looking for something to add to your professional kit that is a good addition to a kit that graftovian so for concealing, I'm obviously going to use the NARS um, Soft Matte Concealer and Custard, but I also want to go in with this even better um, concealing shade from Clinique. It is maybe a shade lighter, if not the same shade as my foundation, but I'm going to use it to correct and to conceal. And then I will go in with the other shade, the Custard shade, to highlight. So I'm just going to put that there because, again, I want to... Conceal with this, not necessarily cover. What am I gonna take that? Ooh, I'm gonna take it with a Real Techniques brush and I'm gonna work that around my brows. I just waxed my brows and do you guys also get this like weird, like lifting happening underneath or above your brows when you just recently wax them? Like I waxed them today and there's a whole thing going on there. Like they always lift in those areas. Okay, so that Clinique concealer for everyday guys is going to be excellent. Like that blended out so easy. That's going to have to be a whole nother review. I'm like boggled. So I'm going to go in with my custard soft matte concealer. This is just a little more coverage and a little lighter. I love to blend this out with a buffing brush like the one that I was just using. So I'm going to use the same brush. Can you see this? Do you see this? <laughs> I wish you guys could totally talk back to me. I'm, a, I'm obsessed with this. I'm just going to add some coverage around my chin area, my mouth. I feel like I've been needing a little more love in those areas lately. So I'm really giving it to it. And then again, I just always push things in with sponge, 
even after blending with a brush. And let's go ahead and bronze and warm up. So I'm gonna use this guy here, which is that new palette that I started off with on the eyes. I'm just gonna take that and where gets it out. This guy here, which is the JH05, and I'm gonna take that same color as well as this guy here, which is called Sunkissed Snitch, to kind of warm myself up a little bit. There's a lot of fallout with this palette. Run down the neck a little bit, you know, help to disguise some of that. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the colors and snatch my nose up a little bit. I'm gonna bring that directly from the brow down to help give me a very nice snatched appearance. The cool thing about this palette is that it is very similar to my BH Blushing in Bali palette in the sense that it has highlight, blush, bronze, or contour. Although Blushing in Bali just has blushes, so it's like a twist on that. I love the colors. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the um, highlight color in here, which is called Glimmer of BS. These names are like no joke. And I'm gonna just put that on as highlight. Yes. I'm gonna use a smaller blending brush for the bottom lash line and we're just gonna repeat everything from the bottom to the top real quick. So we're gonna start off with this shade called SOB. Blow this up a little bit. Ooh, how sultry is this look? Love it. And then lastly, we're gonna go back into this pretty vulgar palette right here and we're gonna use one of the blushes, probably the Hush Hush blush. I might dip into mirror a little bit, but this highlight is just so pretty. Me, okay, I'll show you what they look like. So this is Hush Hush, which is perfect for this look because it's like my go-to blush color. And then this Mirror Mirror, it's a little like shimmery. I'm just gonna dip into that one, one little swoop. And then we'll put that right in between the bronzer and the highlight this is pretty all right guys you know the drill let me finish my hair change my clothes put some lips on and then i'll be back to do the outro with you guys this look is amazing fall glam right at you okay all right guys so this is the finished look right here i really hope that you guys like this look it's definitely fall time it's definitely vampy it's so appropriate for the season look at this foundation like this foundation is flawless brows are on point thank you for just doing them yes and i mean no the complexion is absolutely 100 percent flawless i hope that you guys like this look it's definitely vampy did the dark lip did all matte look at this wing though I really hope that you guys liked it though, all jokes aside. I am all done. The lip combo for today was the Huda Beauty Lip Contour and Spice Girl, and then I used the Liquid Lip also in Spice Girl. This is gonna be a liquid lip that you're gonna see a lot on me during the fall time. It's just so comfortable. The color is so nice. It's not like a super cool, ugly looking brown. It's just super pretty. I love it. It's flattering for my skin tone. And um, that is it, guys. I'm headed to dinner for a friend's birthday. Happy birthday to you, Claudia. I am so excited to celebrate you today for so much more than just your birthday, but happy birthday. Um, and that's it, guys. If you like this look and want to see more like it, please comment down below. Hit the thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. I post Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday every single week three times a week where you and I get to do this whole beauty thing together. So love you, bless you, and I'll see you next time.